Hey folks, Dylan here. How are you doing? This video, I want to tell you about one of the uh, most wonderful, delightful, baffling things I've ever seen in my whole career in tech, and it's a tiny little quirk of SQL, the structured query language that we use to uh, query relational databases. And we have a database set up here, and uh, we got some tables in it. So in here I can go select star from customers, and I get all the customers in the table. We've got a thousand rows in there. This is all randomly generated data. And we have a table called suppliers. And I can select star from suppliers. We've got a thousand rows in there. And there is a thing in SQL in SQL called union. And union, if you've got two data sets that have the same structure, you can just get all of the rows from this one and all the rows from that one, just kind of stacked one on top of the other. Like it, it's the, the combination of both of those tables. So here we got 2000 rows coming back. Now there's another operator you can use in SQL, which is grouping. So say we want to say, uh, which country do we have the most customers in? So I can say select country code and count star from customers. There we go. And I can group that by country code and order it by count star. And I'm gonna put desk on that short for descending. It's gonna give me the biggest number first. So there we go. And in this random data set, we got 194 in China, 106 in Indonesia, 61 in Philippines. You get the idea, right? Now, what if boss comes in, like we wanna know uh, which countries should we buy more advertising? Where do we do a lot of business? Whether that's suppliers or customers, I want the, the combination of the two. So we're like, all right, well, we know how to do this group by thing. And we know how to do this union thing. And there's a thing you can do in SQL called a subquery. And so what I can do is I can grab that lot and I can say, instead of customers, I want you to do the union in there. I want you to do that. So we're selecting country code and count from the union of all our customers and all our suppliers, group by country code, order by count star. You hit go, it says incorrect syntax near the keyword group. Now, 20 something years ago, I did this, I got to this point, I'm like, I don't know what's wrong with that. And I called over one of my coworkers. I was like, hey, can you, uh, can you help me out? I don't know what's wrong with this. And they said, you forgot to say the magic word. I said, sorry, what? And they said, oh yeah, you've got to, you've got to ask nicely. And they did this, please group by country code. They ran it and the query worked. And I was like, no, 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 no. That's not how any of this works. You don't have to be polite to databases to make them work properly. And they just kind of walked away and let me think about it for a second. And uh, this is this is what's going on here. This is what's actually happening. This syntax in SQL, um, if you're only doing that, it works. Uh, actually, no, it doesn't work. Sorry, the union syntax, if you just do that, that works. But if you're using a union as a subquery, you're doing this select star from and then brackets around some other kind of table expression, you have to give the subquery a name. Now, the correct way of doing this is to use as all companies or whatever you want to call it. So we can do that. Now, the quirk here is, oh yeah, I need to group that. So let's grab that. So group by country code, order by that. So select country code count. Now, when we do that, that will work. This as keyword, it's optional. So you don't need as, you can take that out. And then the first thing that appears after the closing bracket here, that's just the name of that subtable expression, subquery. So that works. But because we're not referring to this by name anywhere, we can use any word which isn't a SQL keyword. So if you want to call your subquery, please, that works. I love that. I, I loved that when I first discovered it, whatever, 20 odd years ago. I love it today. I think it's one of these wonderful little quirks that just emerges from a set of completely kind of logical and sensible rules for how you design a database query language and you end up with this gotcha. Now folks, uh, remember with great power comes great responsibility. I really hope that you get the opportunity to baffle somebody with this one day, but be nice about it. You know, let them think about it for just long enough for the penny to drop and then go in and help them out. I hope you found that interesting folks. You'll look after each other. Take it easy. Have a good week. I'll see you next time.